All right, this is a basic strategy for future Atlas pilots, um, and it works for me very well, so I'm going to share this with you. Uh, it's about 10 minutes videos, and let's, uh, let's start. All right, there's five basic strategy. The very first one is know your weapon system. Uh, know your mechs, understand the Atlas, uh, and understanding assault vehicle, right? Number two, understand your teammate mechs and their weapon systems. Uh, number three is understand the rules of the maps and know your map, know the terrain, understand the terrain very well, and, uh, and understand the rule of the, the maps, right? And number four is observe the formations, observe the enemy formations, and positioning, they move for a reason, they move into position for a reason. There's occasion where there's knuckleheads that just move and then they just playing video game, that's okay, one on one, just go kill him. Uh, engage, and then you engage the uh, opponent's uh, formation. And you notice that I didn't say fight the max, I just said you're engaging the formation. So what you're trying to do is observe their formations and then you engage their formations. and uh, and then you will win all the time. Okay. With that, I'm going to just talk about here. So, uh, uh, so the first minute of the game is movement phase. So this is the setup where you you get drop ship, drop off. This is you. You got you know three assault mechs and you got light mechs here. You got a group of heavy and medium. You got a sniper ready built and you got a missile boat ready. And the enemies pretty much doing the exact same thing, the exact same setup, and they move in this direction toward you. So the, during the first minute, you're just moving, get into position, moving, and this at this point, you just focus on communication, focus on, on learning the map, study the map, press B and look at the map and try to have an idea what the objective is, and, and then just move to the objective, move to the setup stage. Oh, in the setup stage is this, so you got the light mechs who's moving really fast and they're probably out here to harass and they're engaging uh, and harassing the enemies. And, and you notice the heavy and the medium, they're pretty much in position in a grid square somewhere holding the line. You got sniper on a hill somewhere and you got a missile boat comfortable below or behind a mountain somewhere. And this is you and your assault mech as you're moving slowly. And you notice that the formation uh, it's time to develop a little bit based on the reporting. And most of the time, it didn't matter what map, the, the formations always tend to be in a line formation. You'll see, um, you know, medium max, heavy max, assault max, they're all in this line or they bunch up somewhere. And, at, and then you see, uh, a light mech harassing our, our rear, maybe our missile boat, and light mechs harassing our sniper snipers. So you, you see this, this is a basic formation, and their sniper is set up, their missile is set up, and they're probably engaging our light and heavy, and our medium and heavy from, from range. But the opposing side can only do one or three things. He can go straight up in the middle, which he was doing that before in formation, you know, he can go uh, right or he can go left. So there, that's his choice. So he can like he go right or go left. So there's not much option. So as a result, if you notice him going right, and the reason a lot of time they go this direction, this bunch, this group, is because the sniper can always support them. But if they go toward the missile boat, the missile boat cannot support them because this guy is focus singly focused to shoot long range stuff but the miss the sniper guy his weapon system can also support them so naturally gravitate toward you know the firepower of the sniper so now they bunch up and they're gonna bum rush this direction right so when i see this formation move what i do is i move to counter that i move to counter that not because of them coming bum rush and i'm going to try to set up a defense and counter that yeah, that's one method, but I do that because when I move toward the direction, the, this missile boat here will also start looking at me as an area of interest because not before this missile boat was shooting at all these guys, shooting at these guys, shooting at these guys, shooting everywhere. But as soon as I move into this line, this missile boat will start engaging me. 
and then you get some so you got the sniper potentially engaging me because you got the biggest mech on the battlefield so everybody's engaging you everybody wants to engage you the missile one engage you the sniper one engage you and then you got this staff gonna rush you and all you have to do is just kind of like hang around in the back here let these guys do their job let these guys do their job and hope you can kill this you know this guy their scout and then and then this assault mech may be getting in position if you do nothing at all this assault mech will get in position uh, because in this video game for some reason they've been programmed that if you're assault mech you just go in the front line i'm not sure why people do that you don't need to do that you don't need to go out in front line the reason why you don't go in the front line is that when you go in the front line you're exposing yourself to the missile and the sniper and now you're exposing yourself to their assault mechs. But if you notice their assault mechs, here's these guys engaging. They're going to try to engage our light. And they're going to try to engage our heavy and medium now. And, and so as a result, you can see which direction you want to go. You can go left or you can go right. Just understand that if you go right, there's nobody, there's nobody out. You know, so this is probably the safest method. This is probably the most dangerous method because you got the missile boat is shooting at you too if you engage him this direction. Okay. But in my my method, I like to engage the centerpiece. Uh, the, one of the reasons why I like to engage the centerpiece is that because if all else fail, uh, if if this is doing really well, they can come and help out. If 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 they are decimated, they got decimated, then I can move into position. I can move myself out or into position. Um, because at one point, these guys are holding this whole area. This whole area is pretty safe. Uh, so I can move myself in position if all else fail. Um, so I'm trying to engage. And the most dangerous thing is really just a missile engaging me. I, I probably don't do this route if it's an open field, like an open map. But if it is terrain, is building, yes, I, I would always try to exploit. I always try to go into the center, center to assault whatever max that's coming in. The best method is to go one on one. If you go one on one as an assault, uh, as a as, uh, Atlas pilot, you will win against any assault uh, max. Uh, you know. Now it's just mainly just piloting skill, you know, one on one. But ideally, what you want to do is you want this assault mech to be able to shoot at him too. So you want to go in an angle in a way that this guy can shoot at him, and the sniper can shoot at him also. But you, he doesn't have a lot of time because this assault mech is coming in toward him. So you gotta you gotta take a look at it, engage the target, and you want to you want to and decisively win this fight as fast as you can. Because as soon as you attack and kill that guy, you pretty much gonna, you pretty much took his firepower away. And if if you are not badly damaged, this game is pretty much that's why it's called decisive engagement. That is it. All you do is engage that one pilot. If this is twelve on twelve, and is let's say it become you know three kills, uh, three or three kills. You know these guys. You know, they took out one of our scouts, we took out one of their scouts. But really what it's talking about is this piece of this group here, this main body, the main body here, the main body here. If you decisively engage that mech and you kill that assault mech, and two of you still alive, you can decimate the entire main body and actually win this game. So that's why you have to win that fight, that one-on-one -on -one fight. And then so, this assault mech can come help you, and all you do is just move around their line. By the time this guy reacts to the this, it's too late. It is too late. So you just got to go in, and you got to keep on moving. Everybody got to move this way. And if he's doing it right, he don't need to engage this guy. He will just move along with you, and then he'll and this guy he'll just be left standing over here somewhere. And then you can just decimate the entire line with this assault mech. There's nothing out there in the battlefield can stop. You know, two assault max. So you can just, uh, that's why it's very important for you to engage that. Okay. Well, I hope uh, this tip will help you, and I'll see you in the battlefield. And, uh, okay, signing off. Thank you.